Hey guys, I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to use Clear Main Pro to uh, update your full set of main ROMs. Um, one quick note though is you have three choices when doing ROMs um, and you can find them here at the main dev to decide what they are. You have non-merged, split, and merged. I do mine as merged sets only because that makes a much smaller file size to deal with and having a full set I want the smallest size possible. If you're looking at splitting some of your ROMs out to be on separate systems, you want to do non-merged sets just because you'll be able to take the games out without losing some of the pieces. So take a look at here at the main dev and you'll uh, be able to uh, see what you need for your stuff. So the two things we're downloading are Clear Main Pro and you can get that just by googling it and you'll find it over here at EMU Labs and then I specifically use main UI 64 so those are the two items I'm downloading so we're gonna update those really quick or install them for the first time if this is your first time doing this so we're assuming you're updating an already existing set we're gonna go into the main UI I'm gonna go find my emulator And all I'm looking for here is what's been updated since the last time I've done this, which is October 29th. So we don't need anything after that, or before that, I'm sorry. Hey guys, I'm going to be doing this all in real time, so um, I didn't plan this out ahead of time. I'm not sure what's going to work, what's going to get buggy, so uh, we'll see what happens with all this. Hopefully it runs really smooth. Okay, so I'm going to replace these files. Um, these are just internal files, not a big deal. Okay, and then the two important files, well, the one important file, the main UI 64. Okay, so now our main is up to date. If we open it up, it might take a minute because it is connected to my original set. All right, there we go. As you can see, we're, we just loaded 0 0.217 so that's what we're working with today all right the next thing we want to do is update or install clear main pro Now again, I've installed this already, so I'm just overwriting what I currently have. If you have, uh, if you're installing this for the first time, you just need to uh, extract it somewhere. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I've been updating from every single one from 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then I kind of skipped out of the last two. Um, and I have those sitting over here. So you can see I have 12 to 17 sitting here. Obviously some of those are already installed, but uh, we're just gonna do it as is. <coughs> um, 
Um, you know, like most people say, I'm not going to tell you where you can get these, but uh, it's not too hard if you look. Uh, you can use Google well enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new profile for the 217. So we're going to find the path to the main. Do that. You can name it whatever you want. And we're going to create a profile. All right, we got a profile created. We're going to open it up. It's going to update the database based on your choice of MAME. So this can be from MAME Dev, but like I said, I like to use MAME UI just to be able to have a user interface. So as you can see here, it's going to start running through all the ROMs that it has in its database to create one on ClearMain Pro. It's going to give us some uh, questions to answer. We're really just going to kind of choose the defaults just to make life easy. So this is a software list and really what it says right here, if you're not familiar with it, you don't need it. And if you're just doing main, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to choose uh, no. And these just click OK to all. Okay, and now we're at our sent. So first we're gonna create some settings. We're gonna tell them where our ROM path is. It's already stored it for me, so mine is in my uh, project main folder, ROMs and MAME. And that's really the only one you need to take care of. If you are doing samples, you wanna point it to that, that's usually in your main folder. Um, and you wanna create a backup path, so it's already created a backup path for me um, based on previous uses. All right. So we're now gonna ch choose to rebuild it. We have our ROM folder. And I'm just gonna do all the uh, versions we have. And we're gonna do them one by one. So even though that these are already, oop, that's CHDs. We'll show to go over those in a little bit. We're gonna tell it to rebuild based on that folder. You can see we have some matches creating and all that kind of stuff. Now I probably should have done a scan to show you guys what it looked like before and what it looks like after, but oh well, we just wanna get this done. All right, we're gonna choose our next folder. Guess what I did wrong? I didn't change this to merge set. So we are gonna have to um, do this over again. But luckily this program does that stuff very easily. So the one thing I did not choose was remove and match source files once they're completed. So that means everything is still in these folders over here. We didn't lose anything. Um, if you chose to remove the match source files, it would delete them as they found them. This is really just a clean up space. So now that I'm doing merge sets, I am gonna turn that on. It's gonna yell at me because my scan is different. So the scan is set to split, but we're doing merge. Yes, we wanna continue. And, so now you can see if we go into this folder, oh, it's still there. Oh, wrong folder. There you go. So we're gonna do 12 to 13 again, we're gonna rebuild. Yes, we wanna continue. And you can see there's only a few games left in there that did not get taken. So we've done 12 to 13, 13 to 14, here's 14 to 15. And 
you can see now we've a lot of we've only created three based on the uh, update because these are files I've already done. Once we've done, uh, I believe the last two I have at 15 to 16, and 16 to 17 will show many more. So that's 2014 to 2015. And you can see this is creating a lot more, fewer skips. Now the other thing this is doing is it's creating some backup files. And if we look in here, it's taking all the files it didn't use and stuffing them into uh, this folder, which is a another folder we will scan just to make sure we have everything. All right, and the last one, 16 to 17. Now the other thing we could have done is this is set to scan subfolders. We could have just uh, scanned this main updates folder and it would have gone through everything. But sometimes it's easier or cleaner to just do it one by one. Now the one thing I've never done that I thought we would try this round is uh, the CHD folders. Um, normally I kind of drop, drop these in to where my ROM folder is, but maybe we can take a look and uh, see if um, we can just drop these in or have a ClearMate Pro handle it. Okay, that got finished. That took a little bit longer. It did kind of uh, give me non-response for a while. I just let it do its thing and it cleared right up. So, just for kicks, I'm gonna see what happens when we do a CHD. Like I said, I usually just drop these in here, but we'll try something new today. Yeah, I just skipped it, so we're gonna do that a different way. All right, now we're gonna use the backup path we created earlier. <clears throat> and you can see we do have, we did get one created, so there was something in the backup that was needed. So now we're gonna take a look at these CHDs. And the easiest way I've found to deal with these is they know where to go. So we're just gonna take these out of the folders. Paste them into here. <clears throat> now, when ClearMain Probe does its check, it will automatically move these into the correct location. That's why I'm not too worried about those. So, I'm going to switch over to Scanner. <clears throat> so 
So I do not want to check my sample folder because I do not have those taken care of. I wanted to fix all the problems it finds. We're doing merge sets. <coughs> and I don't want it to ask me because otherwise I'll be sitting here all day long pressing OK. So let's do a new scan. So you can see it already moved our CHD to the correct folder. Yeah, so there's no CHD files in here anymore. Nope. These must have already existed from my previous. TF update. <coughs> So you can see these already exist in here. That's why I didn't move them, or couldn't move them. Okay, I'm gonna pause this, and then we'll come back once, once it's done. All right, guys, as you can see, the scan has finished. Uh, we are missing a couple items here. Uh, we're missing nine sets. All of our CHD are covered for. The reason we got these first two errors were because they already existed in the folders they needed to be. And so this was just a duplicate of what I already had. And CHDs only move. They can't be altered. So you, I just need to delete these from the main folder. So. While that was happening, and you can see that's the error we got over here. We're going to close this up. And let me grab one. I did download those missing files while it was going. We're going to go to the rebuild. We're going to go to that my missing folder and rebuild. Same thing, use backup path just in case. Obviously nothing happened there. We're going to head back to the scanner and do it one more time. All right, guys, scan is finished, and you see we have no errors, we have no missing sets, ROM, CHD, bytes. We are in the clear. Um, Clearly, Pro does a really good job at doing this kind of stuff, and it's, you know, it's not intuitive on how to do this, but once you figure it out, it's pretty easy. All right, let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comments. Take care.